The one percent of the art program, you know, was something that the legislature started, I believe, in 1975 as a bill, and it sounded good at the time. But you know, at this time in nature, where we're at today, in terms of our physical nature of the state, uh, one percent of the art is just no longer affordable when we're asking all uh, the state departments to cut back. You know, we bought a new uh, when we did spend money on the new ferry system. We bought new artwork instead of transferring the art from the old ferry to the other ferry. That artwork just went to storage. Um, the um, the airport, you know, $100 million project, that money went into these glass waterfalls. One of school districts, and uh, they spent over a million dollars in one year just on art when we're cutting back on art programs in the schools. So that money could have went better to the programmatic nature instead of actually on the art. And today, most of those new schools are being built are just sort of monuments and, and, and beautiful in art just because of the way the architectures are now designing these buildings and the way that Department of Transportation and the concrete forms, you can now put more artistic work into the form to the concrete. And so to mandate it now just seems to be a little irresponsible in terms of where we're at in the nature of our state. Sounds like we also have a big bank of art that's not being used. Oh, yes, yes. We have warehouses full of art. <laughs> um, and, and we just would like to be able to reuse that art or maybe have a museum trade with other states. And most of the art that is done is done by out-of-state artists to begin with. So we're not even using Alaska Hire or Alaska artists to help create art for our own state.